So you're trying to buy a house and you keep running into these multiple offer situations. Yep, I feel your pain. And today we're talking about the top five tips to help you win right now. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Taylor and I'm the owner of Dreamline Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. And on this channel, we provide educational content to help our home buyers make great home buying decisions. So right now it's February 2021 and the market is absolutely insane. Houses are selling in a matter of days with multiple offers in several price ranges and that is simply the norm around here right now and it's needless to say just a big old dogfight out there. And we're seeing listings in the $200,000 price ranges with as many as 50 offers. Yes, you heard that right, 50 offers. So how do you win in your situation? What can you do to help increase your chances of getting your offer accepted? Well, I have five tips I'm gonna share with you right now that's gonna help you win, so let's dive right in. Tip number one is be willing to pay more than asking price. And I know, I know, I know, you never want to pay more than asking price, but the reality is in the market that we're facing and dealing with right now, paying more than asking price is simply the playing field that we're on at the moment. And how much over asking price should you pay? Well, that really depends on the property, the comparable sales, what area the house is in, and certainly if there's any other offers that are on the table right now. So your real estate agent, hopefully us, will be able to help give you the best advice in that situation. But the thing to keep in mind here is this, if you're needing a mortgage and needing financing, the house has to appraise for at least the sales price. So we've got to be really careful in these situations. So if the house does not appraise, the seller may be willing to reduce the price of the house to the appraised value, or the seller may ask you to come up with the difference in cash, or possibly you and the seller could meet somewhere in the middle to make the deal work. Tip number two is you have to be willing to pay a higher due diligence fee. So in a recent video, I talk all about the due diligence fee and you may wanna go check that video out. But the bottom line is this, a higher due diligence fee speaks volumes to the seller. So going up on your due diligence fee shows the seller that you are very serious about your offer and you're willing to put your money where your mouth is, so to speak. And the amount of due diligence fee that you offer should be very attractive to the seller, but not so extravagant that it puts you at risk at the same time. Tip number three, find out what terms are most important to the seller. So simply have your agent call the listing agent and see if there's anything specific that will get the seller's attention when making your offer. So maybe the seller is looking for that quick 30 day close, or maybe they're actually looking for a 45 or 60 day close to give them more time to get packed up and get out of the house. So it's also possible that they are attracted to that higher due diligence fee that we just talked about or maybe these terms are not even attractive to them whatsoever and the only thing that they care about is getting the highest sales price possible. So the point is, knowing the things that will motivate the seller will help you craft a better offer. Tip number four is to have your agent shoot a quick video to the listing agent letting them know how serious you are about their house and that the transaction will go smoothly. Maybe that you're flexible on the closing date and you're willing to negotiate terms to make the deal work then ask the listing agent to share that video with the seller. Tip number five, have your lender call the listing agent and let them know that your financing is solid. Tell them that your income and debts have already been verified, that your loan has already been approved, and all that is needed to finish the transaction is the appraisal. This provides a lot of peace of mind for the seller that nothing will fall apart before closing, and that there won't be any issues with meeting the closing date. So there you go. Those are my five tips to help you win in multiple offer situations. And my last piece of advice is to just be patient. In these situations, we know it can be stressful and frustrating, but hang in there and it's all gonna work out in the end. And with these five tips, you'll have a better chance of landing your dream home. And if you'd like our help in your home search, my team and I would be honored to guide you along on your journey and our contact information is in the description below. Just reach out to us when you're ready. I hope this video was helpful and to learn more about the entire home buying process, grab a copy of my free book, Buying Your Dream Home, where I break down the entire home buying process step by step. And you can find a link to that book in the description below. 
And you may want to check out this video where I talk about why you need a home inspection. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified when new videos are released. And we'll see you next time. Make it a great day.